Welcome to A Recipe Reborn, featuring your favorite foods from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, my name is Lemon Drop, and I recreate dishes as close as I can to the in-game recipe, description, and thumbnail. If you're into XIV and food, please subscribe and click the bell for a new episode every Tuesday. Today I am making Spaghetti Al Nero. Since Nero is Italian for black, it not only fits the darkness theme, but I also like to imagine it's the favorite food of Nero Tolskeva. The reason it's black is because of squid ink, which I have never tasted or cooked with before, so this will be an interesting adventure in flavor, but I'll get to that later. First, I'm going to make homemade pasta, which I've also never done before, so we'll see how this goes. Dry pasta will work just fine too. As usual, I'm using a stand mixer, but if you wanted to do this by hand, the dough is not that hard to work with. The goal is to make something similar in consistency to Play-Doh. Check out the link in the description for measurements. I'm shaping the dough into a ball to cover and rest for about an hour. This ensures the dough won't dry out and will be relaxed enough to roll into thin sheets without bouncing back. Now that the dough has rested, I'm cutting it into four equal pieces before rolling and folding into a rectangle. The next step is to pass it through the roller at a thinner setting each time. Again, this can be done by hand using a rolling pin. Sprinkling flour over the dough before and after cutting keeps the noodles from sticking together. So, this is a jar of cuttlefish ink I bought online. In nature, it comes in a sack and sizes vary depending on the size of the cephalopod. The flavor is briny like the ocean and has a mild sweetness you'd expect from a white fish. Since this is a fairly subtle and salty flavor, I'm going to take care to build my sauce to be equally mild because I don't want to overpower the ink. Cooking over medium-low heat helps to avoid burning the garlic. The in-game recipe says this is a tangy dish, and these tomatoes are quite sweet, so I'm adding in some white wine. Now I'm ready for my ink. If you notice my kitchen got darker, that's because a thunderstorm is suddenly crashing and pouring outside, which is really helping my RP immersion. I very briefly boiled my pasta in salted water, and I'm now transferring it into the sauce to toss. You may have noticed that I haven't seasoned this yet, because, again, the ink is salty, so I don't want to over-salt before tasting. Now for the trickiest part, moving the pasta to the plate without making a mess. Not only does adding fresh tomatoes on top look nice, it brings the fresh flavor back to a stewed tomato sauce. This is a really good example of a simple dish with very few ingredients that come together to make something greater than the sum of its parts. The ingredients strike a beautiful balance to support the squid ink flavor. It was so delicious, I actually ate the other portion directly out of the pan. For the full recipe and instructions, please check out the link to my website in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week for a special episode featuring food from a beloved character.